How do you prove a forgery in a probate case? I get calls all the time and people will tell me, I know that wasn't my dad's signature. So my question to you is, do you think that's all it takes? Do you think that you're gonna be able to walk into court and just say, that's not my dad's signature? I'm gonna tell you for sure the answer is no to that question. So how do you prove a forgery? Well, there's a handwriting expert that you can hire that will come to court and will testify when you give them a bunch of signatures of the person who passed away. So let's say you need 10 to 15 examples of a signature from a time period that is recent to when the signature that you're looking at is from. So if the signature is from 1996, you need documentation from 1996 or within that area. Now, obviously they are limited by what you have, which is something that's very important. In every one of these cases, you have to have a path to victory because if you don't, you're gonna just be spending money on an attorney. So you're gonna to need to know this before you even get started. How are you going to prove the forgery? You're gonna to have to get a handwriting expert, you're going to need a bunch of different signatures, and you're going to have to use those signatures to prove that that's the case. And then you may have a perfect expert that's gonna be able to argue on your behalf for exactly what you're looking for. But the greatest attorney in the world isn't going to win a case for you when your facts are bad. So if you haven't seen your family member in years and you're looking at a signature and you don't think it's theirs, but you have no way of getting any examples of their signature, don't spend the money fighting because you're not gonna win that case.